Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about how to focus a microscope. Okay, so this video is going to be English and Hindi mixed. So in Hindi, I will tell you some of the things that are actually tips for understanding and helping people to understand it. But mainly the video will be in English. So basically, I have this microscope in front of me and basically I'm the, I'll, this is the third video of this series when we discuss about the uh, process of how to focus the microscope और यहाँ पे कुछ कुछ चीजें जिसको ध्यान पे रखना है याद रखना है बस ये सारे चीज याद रखो क्योंकि in my career I've seen many even uh, some of the good researchers not knowing how to focus a microscope properly in fact because it's not properly treated well in the you know teach, uh, taught well in the in the colleges and universities because एक जब microbiology में आप जाओगे या फिर biotechnology में जाओगे हर रोज zoology में भी microscope की utilize करना पड़ता है वहाँ पे तो वहाँ पे रिसर्च गेट माइक्रोस्कोप तो कम होता है हालांकि अभी होना चाहिए जितना फीस लेते हैं दे मस्ट हैव गुड क्वालिटी रिसर्च गेट माइक्रोस्कोप बट व्हाट दे गिव इज दैट दे जस्ट गिव द माइक्रोस्कोप एंड टेल देम ओके दिस इज हाउ टू फोकस दैट्स इट बट दे डोंट टीच यू हाउ टू फोकस इट ओके एक्चुअली यू नीड टू नो हाउ टू फोकस अ माइक्रोस्कोप फ्रॉम योर प्लस टू बट इफ यू डोंट नो दैन दिस वीडियो इज जस्ट फॉर यू सो डोंट लूज होप विद इन फाइव मिनट्स आई टीच यू हाउ टू फोकस द माइक्रोस्कोप विद सम टिप्स दैट यू शुड नेवर फॉरगेट एंड दे शुड ऑलवेज यूटिलाइज वेल फोकसिंग द माइक्रोस्कोप गेट अ गुड रिजल्ट नाउ हियर इन दिस केस This is a microscope. Where you can see, uh, we are seeing the focusing part. So to understand that, to to make you aware of that, what I'll do is that I will put it like this, okay? Because in this particular angle, you can clearly see few things. I believe. Uh, so there are three steps that we need to actually follow in order to focus a microscope. The first is the the slide that whatever slide you have in your hand. I'll be taking one slide. This is the mosquito slide that I have. Okay. This is the mosquito slide. You see this one. and uh, what you need to do you need to place this slide in the stage the first thing second thing you need to turn on the illumination that is the light source you need to turn it on and the third thing is to focus it by adjusting the knobs and watch it under you know through the eyepiece lenses to see the image these are the three simple steps but where students go wrong maximum cases students go wrong in terms of placing the slides so they'll place the slides not a big deal but while focusing while adjusting this knob most of you will fail most of you are frightened because your teacher may say do not break the slide because i remember my uh, school days uh, there is always a big uh, you know a confusion and thing like we should not break the slide because there is no protection but now we have multiple protection that this slide will not touch the objective when if it touches the objective the objective has a particular mechanism you can clearly see that uh, i can i think here you can see it see that this objective end can be inserted like this so it has a spring or spring attached to it so what i was saying is that as it has a spring to it uh, no matter how hard you try it will not break that easily because of the spring that is a protection maneuver that is given and at last the slide may break but the slide is not that costly the objective is okay so okay let's begin the steps of focusing a microscope properly so first thing is you need to put the slider down so this is a slider used to two hands here to put the slider so actually not the slider basically this is the stage to put the stage down you put the stage down you take the slide and what you simply do is basically this is the lever you you take the lever in this side okay and place the slide in like this okay this is the positioning of the slide and how it the placement is done you can clearly see it from here like this okay this is the slide and to place it like this and do not release the lever slowly release it if you if you release the lever in one go then it might crack the slide remember okay so ye cheez ho gaya so that's done once that is done you can clearly see that this is not in alignment so what we need to do basically is to align it now so how to align this obviously we have this again coarse adjustment screw and we have fine edge this is smaller one is the fine adjustment this is coarse adjustment so with the help of coarse adjustment screw but before that remember one thing so whenever you put the slide in this position you can see that this is our condenser okay because this is through which the light will come and this is the sample which is not aligned what you should do is to align it is basically utilize this so here okay to align this you see the alignment is going on and the alignment is almost complete the job is here required is to place the sample just beneath just on the top of the 
condenser this is the idea so many of you may not do this but this is very important do not do it later you need to do it now properly place it once the placement is done this is the very first step placing the slide into the slide holder into the stage okay once that is done first step done take it second step is with the help of the course adjustment the big screw lift it up while lifting it up this is a wrong step why it is a wrong step because if you are lifting it up without seeing it wrong should not do it okay you need to always watch and remember one thing in this objective there may be three objective 4 10 40 or maybe four objective 4 10 40 100 or maybe 10 40 100 whatever it is you need to always start with the least number of objective that is a 4x if you're starting with least that is 4x 4 10 40 and 100 we always start with we always start with the lowest power objective write it in your notebook do not forget this and do not do not take this stage up or down without looking at the eyepiece if you make any of these two mistakes then you will never learn how to focus a microscope. Kabhi nahi seek paoge. Aapko hamesha eyepiece ke andar dekhna hai aur fir stage ko upar lana hai. Aur stage ko upar lane se pehle ek chiz yaad rakhna hai aapko ke yahaan par starting mein aapko sabse kam objective power lens se dekhna hai. Then we'll start migrating from the lowest objective to highest objective in that order. Lowest to highest in that order. And that is in a clockwise order, not counterclockwise. So this is 4, clockwise, 10, 40, 100. Not the other way around. If you want to shift to 4 again, this side. We should not go from 100 to 40, 40 to 10, never. Because it's a reverse threading. The threading that is present in the nose piece in placed in such a way is that it will only allow it to move it to the clockwise direction. If you turn it counterclockwise for so many thousand times, 2000, 10,000 times, slowly the thread will be damaged. Okay, so keep this in your mind. So we'll always go with clockwise direction. So this is 4. Okay, so we'll start with 4x. Okay, and then we uh, place our eye to the eyepiece and we slowly drag it up. We'll drag it up and wherever we find, wherever we find our sample, Okay, then we do course adjustment with the small one, small one. Fine adjustment will be done by the small one. Pehle bada screw se course adjustment karenge. Phir chote screw se fine adjustment. Jab a jayega image thora bahut, chote screw se fine adjustment karenge. Jab image thora bahut a jayega, tab bade screw ko hum chhod denge. You should not touch the course adjustment. Whenever you get a little bit of glimpse of the sample that you are looking at, you should never ever do it. All right, this is the one. And again, I'm doing the same thing. I'm placing the slide here. Placing the slide, putting uh, the slide, the specimen on top of the condenser. I turn, I'll turn on the light source now. Light source turned on, you can see, okay. And then I can regulate the intensity of the light. You can see the intensity of light can be regulated. And then slowly what we want to do, we first lower it down, the stage is lowered down a bit. Then what we do is simply drag it up. Whenever I see a little bit of sample at the beginning, I'll stop. So at this moment, I can see the sample, the specimen. So I'll only do the fine adjustment now. The fine adjustment in that same direction as the course adjustment, the same direction. And I'll see the specimen I can clearly see the specimen the specimen is now clearly visible the specimen is clearly visible so this is a job done in the 10x let's say we started here with the 10x then once we can clearly see the specimen all fine adjustment is done in here okay fine adjustment is done now at this moment in the 10x actual idea is to take the slider to the bottom. So basically what is the idea is that we can clearly see the specimen at 10x. So 10x object, ob, objective is showing us the image. 
it's fine then you move to the higher magnification again clockwise movement so from 10 we'll move to 20 or 40 so in this case 40 40 x now remember one thing now modern day microscopes are per focality yeah, they have per focality in their feature so they are per focal in nature per focal means basically whatever depth of field that you are seeing simply what you need to do is basically you need to just take the nose piece the next magnification and after that you don't need to touch the course adjustment at all you only need to touch the fine adjustment a little bit of fine adjustment lie left or right any of this and you can clearly see the specimen clearly see the specimen clearly view the specimen this is how easy it is to view the specimen at this moment fine so we can clearly see that from that you can gather the information that's how easy it is if your microscope is per focal the lens objectives are per focal then only course only uh, you don't need to touch course object uh, course adjustment screw you only need to touch the fine adjustment screw and you can clearly see the image i can clearly see the image at this moment okay so that's uh, how easy it is now the most important thing the step number two is to bring the slide in, 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 in respect to the objective lens and that is where we have the adjustment screw the course adjustment and the fine adjustment okay you can clearly see the movement of course, course adjustment in here okay so here the idea is very simple that you always start with the lowest magnification that is in this microscope we have 4x so we start with 4x then uh, we'll bring uh, the specimen in focus with the eyepiece when we, we can see the specimen we bring it with the course adjustment here and once we can see the specimen a little bit then we move it to the fine adjustment and we can finally see the specimen once we can see the specimen we simply move it from 4x to 10x the next magnification and only we need to adjust the fine adjustment to see the object then from 10 we'll move to 40 okay and still we can clearly see the specimen like that okay we can see these things and regarding the specimen quality you know till this point everyone can do that this is the you know, second and third step that uh, the arrangement and visualization with the eyepiece all uh, students can do till this part with the help of these microscopes there's barely a chance that the slide will crack it will not crack but will they give you a good quality image will they produce a good quality image that's a question mark now first when some learn photography you know they can click photograph if i ask you can you click a photo you can say yeah i can click a photo everyone can click a photo with the modern day equipments anyone can click a photo but will the photo will be of good quality that's a question mark a, a good photographer is a person who can click good quality images right so in this case also you may get a image but the image quality is important so how to get a better image quality i'll be sharing you how to see the image quality in my computer screen where well, with the help of this camera i'll record the image of uh, you know focusing and visualization and you can see things uh, with the help of uh, the images that it, that i can attach here what you can understand what you understand from this point is that basically whatever you are seeing object uh, you are observing at 10x the, the the condenser there's a knob to regulate the height of the condenser in the you know microscope you need to take it all the way down while you are watching something observing something under 10 x objective but when you move to 40 x objective the condenser should be on maximum height the topmost height is possible for it the condenser must must reach that part okay it's very important the condenser must reach that part without that it's not possible so maximum reach uh, condenser should reach maximum height while you are observing 40x or 100x but lower magnification than that 10x 4, 4x the condenser should be at its bottom very important because if the condenser is placed in the bottom less amount of light will be flowing and we know 4x 10x the lens is quite bigger too much amount of light focuses in that's why this is the approach but for 40x and 100x very less amount of light passes in so you need to keep the condenser at its maximum height Keep this in your mind. लिख लेना ये चीज कोई और आपको नहीं समझाएगा ये चीज याद रखना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है एक चीज कंडेंसर का रेगुलेशन और डायफ्रम द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट द थर्ड थिंग रिगार्डिंग द फोकसिंग और प्रोड्यूसिंग अ गुड क्वालिटी इमेज इज द लाइट 
बिकॉज ये लाइट माइक्रोस्कोपी है इसमें लाइट ही सब कुछ है तो लाइट की फ्लो यू कैन रेगुलेट द लाइट इंटेंसिटी विथ दिस इंटेंसिटी बार यू कैन सी हियर द इंटेंसिटी बार क्लियरली सी एट दिस मोमेंट सो आई दर वी कैन इंक्रीज इट इन दिस साइड इंक्रीज दिस साइड डिक्रीज ओके बट दैट इज नॉट इनफ दैट इज सिंपली टू रेगुलेट अमाउंट ऑफ लाइट दैट इज गोइंग इन इवन मोर इंपॉर्टेंट इज द डायफ्रम रिमेंबर वी टॉक्ट अबाउट डायफ्रम अर्लियर नाउ दिस इज अ एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ कंडेंस ऑफ विद डायफ्रम यू कैन सी ओनली अ स्मॉल होल थ्रू दिस स्मॉल होल ओनली अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ लाइट कैन कम इन राइट बट नाउ आई कैन ओपन द डायफ्रम यू कैन सी आई एम स्लोली ओपनिंग द डायफ्रम एंड नाउ अ लॉर्ड ऑफ लाइट विल पास थ्रू दिस डायफ्रम सो एट दिस प्रेजेंट मोमेंट अ लॉर्ड ऑफ लाइट विल पास थ्रू इट सो इफ यू आर लुकिंग एट हंड्रेड एक्स फोर हंड्रेड एक्स हंड्रेड एक्स एंड फोर्टी एक्स ऑब्जेक्टिव स्टिल वी डोंट यूज दिस डायफ बिकॉज इफ a lot of light passes through it a lot of artifacts and the image will be less contrasting if you want to get a better contrast to this image you need to close the diaphragm down to certain extent like something like this will give you a better so this is the opening of a diaphragm it will give you a better light better contrast to the image and sometimes you need to even drill down to even less even less to even get a better contrasting image so this is the idea of diaphragm it's very very important part of a microscope people only talk about objective and eyepiece but actually diaphragm is one of the most important aspect of light microscope if you are using it for long time you will understand it you will know it okay so that's the simple way of handling a light microscope you turn on the light source so again for revise revision start with it turn on the light source and you get the stage down maximum so that you can place the slides in this is the slide you can place the slide slowly attach the slide to the mechanical stage and the stage can and then with the help of the stage what you should do you should bring the slide to the proper position once this positioning is done then what you should do you go to the lowest magnification this is 4x is our lowest magnification start with that and then observe things with the help of ips and then slowly bring the slide up whenever you see things in front of your eyes properly stop do the fine adjustments fine adjustments and then see things and after that you move to the next next objective clockwise remember clockwise 10x clockwise okay and then simple fine adjustment again fine adjustments bus and if you want to see different parts of the slides again you use mechanical stages you can use here mechanical stages again to adjust it not a big deal you can use mechanical stages to to put it slide it okay you can do that depending upon your requirement and then again uh, fine adjustment every single time you do this you need to do fine adjustment in order to focus once focus is done from 10 to again clockwise 40x again 40x then again then again you fine adjustment will be done all this process will be done and if you want to see in the 100x then you need to put this objectives in this position and then put some oil on top of this cover slip and then place the 100x so that the 100x touches the oil so there will be oil between the slide and the 100x objective to observe a better contrasting image you need to play with the diaphragm opening and closure it's very important and also sometimes you need to regulate the light source 10x maximum light then 40x little less 100x even lesser so you need to use the intensity of the light light more or less to control it to regulate it that's all about handling a microscope focusing a microscope aise hi microscope ko focus karna hai aise hi microscope ko focus karna chahiye without that you cannot understand the process ये चीज याद रखना हमेशा हमेशा काम आएगा प्रोसेस को फॉलो करना तीन स्टेप की प्रोसेस है उतना कॉम्प्लिकेट तो है नहीं वेरी सिंपल स्टेप्स इन दिस थ्री स्टेप्स यू कैन इजीली फोकस एनी माइक्रोस्कोप विदाउट एनी ग्लिच विदाउट एनी एरर सो दैट्स इट इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज इट द लाइक बटन शेयर दिस वीडियो विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड कलीग्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल टू गेट मोर वीडियोज लाइक दैट इन फ्यूचर थैंक यू एंड स्टे ट्यून फॉर द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वेल वी डिस्कस अबाउट some more components of microscope different types of microscope principles of light microscope particularly the classes and types of microscope for example phase contrast microscope polarizing microscope and we are also going to see the difference between uh, how to observe things which are stained using a microscope how to observe things which are not stained living objects with the help of a microscope we can do all these thing we will understand all these things 
with the help of the next lectures. So stay tuned and watch it. Thank you. Bye.